what's going on fellow collectors on YouTube. I hope you're having an awesome Sunday. So today I'll be talking about this awesome Campbell Trophy truck on the right. This is a 1988 Land Rover Defender 110. So this casting is by Master164 and uh, this one's been out for quite a while. A quick origin story about this truck. Um, the Camel Trophy originated in 1980 with the Jeep equipped German teams exploring the Amazon. After the first event, the organizers turned to Land Rover. Over the course of the next 20 years, all of the Land Rover vehicles range were used. Range Rover Series 3, Defender and Discovery, and Freelander vehicles all appeared in the distinctive sand glow color scheme. Hmm, so that's very interesting. Uh, that's how it started. A lot of the Europeans came to um, South America to um, race dirty trucks out there because of the hard terrain. Anyways, uh, check out the side view of these two trucks. Um, the, of course, the trophy version, the trophy Campbell trophy version came out well, uh, about maybe a year or two years ago. I could be wrong, maybe longer. And um, they came out with two versions of this truck. They came out with the clean version, of course, and then they came out with the dirty version. And um, the white version on the left uh, was a recent release. Um, and the cool thing about Master 164 is that they have tons of different liveries when they're land, on their Land Rovers. So if you get a check, if you want to check them out, go on their eBay page and uh, check out their liveries. You might, see, you might be surprised what they have. So when I first got the off-road version of this Land Rover Defender, um, I thought the, the casting was the same compared to the trophy, uh, my Campbell truck trophy version. So when I was looking around the whole truck, I noticed that it's a whole separate casting. I, I, I just I thought they were using the same casting and just different different paint job. But uh, Master One Six Four went ahead and uh, did a whole different new casting and tooling with this Land Rover Defender, and I was like, "Hmm, oh, very interesting that they did this." Um, here is a top view of the vehicles, so you can see the differences from above. And they are both to true, true to 164 scale. So check it out. Here's a little uh, view from uh, me going around with the camera. Look at that reflector from that little mirror right there. And that's a cool little feature about these Master 164s is that they go really into detailing their vehicles when it comes to um, realism. I know there's pros and cons between Master 164 and Mini GT. So here is some uh, video footage of the truck from all around. You get the little small details from even the cages from the back window, you get the logos, you get the truck number right there, CT24, Camo Trophy, logos all around. Um, I do have the Mini GT version of this truck too. Um, and there are pros and cons from both vehicles. So uh, pros and cons go for Mini GT and pros and cons go for uh, Master 164. And but regardless with the pros and cons, it doesn't matter. They both look good and they both did a great job. And uh, this is it. This is your uh, Land Rover Defender 110. Uh, the legendary 110 that uh, did travel all across the Amazon, through all of South America, and South Africa, and Australia, but mostly in South America, in Brazil. Here you get um, real, realistic uh, mud flaps, and that's the cool thing with Master 164, but my Mini GT doesn't have that, it's just metal. And I'm, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. I mean, they both roll really good, so I gotta give them that. Here's the additional accessories um, that come off the vehicle. So you get a bunch of these accessories, also including these mini green fuel cans as well. So here is the bottom of the vehicle. Looks pretty good. And the cool thing about this, it says Land Rover on the bottom of those flaps. It's the little things. And that's the cool thing about Master 164 is that they go really into like the little things when it comes to details. 
uh, on the front tire and the hood it's not dirty like the mini gt version so that's another pro that's another con but i'm fine with that